Hey guys, welcome back to another spooky video. Today we're making a sc scarecrow and a cornfield maze with volumetric lighting. So first make a cylinder and scale it up on the z-axis in edit mode. Add an edge loop in the middle and then scale down the top faces. Make sure you scale down the top faces and not the vertices. And then add some more edge loops until you get like a more organic shape, like a corn. And scale when you need. And then I just scaled down the top faces again to get a point. And then just add edge loops in the, in the middle and then inset them and extrude out. Now add a yellow texture onto it. And that's the basic corn. Now we're gonna add a husk around it. So we'll make a plane and turn on the mirror modifier and have it set to object offset to an empty that you set in the middle of your corn. And then you're gonna wanna rotate that empty 90 degrees on the z-axis. Then in edit mode move the uh, plane until both planes are uh, across each other on the x-axis. And then you're going to rotate by 90 on the x-axis and uh, 45 on the z-axis. And then scale in if you need. And then I just uh, extrude in equal measurements each time I extrude. And I scale out as I go up. This tutorial is more of like an ideas tutorial, so it's more freehand. And then add a solidify modifier with only a little bit of solidification and up the object count to 4 on the array modifier. Now go back into object mode and add a green material to it. Add a cylinder and that's going to be the stalk of the corn. So in edit mode scale out on the Z and scale in on every axis but Z. And then I just duplicated the corn uh, husk object to use as little fronds on the stalk, as you can see in like corn patch photos. I'll put one here. I just rotated out until it looked good. And I just added variation over and over again with different amounts. I think I used like four. And then I made a point on the bottom of the uh, stock. Next, I parented them all to the stock and brought it up and added a path curve. This will be the maze. So in edit mode, just start making a maze. It doesn't have to like be very good because it'll be covered up by the volume that we add in later.
and then duplicate your corn and merge it together so that you can have one corn object to instantiate across the entire curve. On that new corn object, make a curve modifier and set the curve to that path and make an array modifier fit to curve to the same path. Make sure the array is before the curve. And I scaled out my uh, maze. And then I scaled it down. You don't have. I add a plane underneath it to hide all the bottoms of the stock, and I brought the maze to the middle. Just reset the object origin to fix the modifiers. I decimated the corn a little bit so that it would not be as computer it wouldn't use as much uh, RAM and it also added some variance to the corn uh, kernels which looked good and I applied that And I made multiple layers so I could have more dense corn mazes. I just did three layers. And I just added a brown t texture to the bottom, turned down the roughness, or turned up the roughness. And now I make a big cube to surround the entire scene, and that'll be the volume. In the shading workspace, uh, make a new material for it, take out the principled VSDF, and make a principled volume VSDF. In the density of the volume VSDF, uh, make a noise texture, and make two dark colors very close to each other, so that it will be very little... Uh, fog or less dense fog because white means completely you can't see it all through it and black is you can see everything and then make just make the noise until it looks good to you it'll be different every time I used EV you can do cycles but you lose a lot of detail as you can see here it's like very not good. Also make sure you make your cube uh, also have a transparent BSDF and in the materials toolbar turn on alpha alpha blend. I missed some footage here, but I made a scarecrow, and you can see the mesh right here. It looks pretty simple. 
I just used the pumpkin from uh, the last spooky tutorial and then the flannel from a flannel procedural tutorial I made earlier, which I can show right here in the top right. So I just UV unwrapped the shirt and used seams to make it like a real piece of cloth. And then I did a smart UV project. And I just had a point light in the middle of the jack-o'-lantern so it would glow, so it would be able to stand out in the scene. And I just moved him over, and that's basically the entire scene. I also used a Dutch angle because it looked spookier. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you did, leave a like and comment, and tell me if you'd like to see more spooky tutorials next year. Uh, hope you guys liked it. I'll be doing Christmas tutorials too this year, probably, for like a Christmas tree and ornaments and stuff. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye!